Today I'm answering another question that I just received concerning Cubase and the Waves Vocal Rider. And this one goes like this. Hello Chris, when I use Waves Vocal Rider or Bass Rider, I'm not able to write the automation on the pre-gain track. So for me, the only way to use these two riders is to let them work live while the playback is playing. All right, so I'm gonna answer the question and show you how to use the Waves Vocal Rider with Cubase. Hello, Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, before we jump into this video, if you're new here on the channel, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, share and like the video if you think that the video is helpful. All right, so let's jump right in Cubase and look at the vocal writer from Waves and how I use it in Cubase. Now, this is a very cool plugin that I use if I have a vocal that is very dynamic um, that I have to work with. I am gonna tend to use this vocal writer before uh, hitting the plugins. Um, so basically this plugin is gonna be inserted on the first slot of my insert to balance the dynamics out before adding compression and so on. But it can also be used as the last plugin of your chain just to ride the vocal uh, in the mix, okay? So you can use it at the beginning or at the end or both. But the way I like to use it is to balance the dynamic of a dynamic vocal before hitting any compressors. Okay, so let's jump and look at what we have here. Uh, I'm just gonna go and just show you quickly what that um, plugin is made of. So we have that main knob right here um, that is um, actually the main feature of the plugin. Uh, it's gonna ride up and down, so it, it's gonna increase the volume and decrease the volume of the signal that comes into this plugin. And then we have the range. This is where we're gonna determine how loud and how quiet we wanna have, uh, I want the fader to, to go to, okay? So this is gonna be our range. Then we have the sensibility, okay? We're gonna focus only with the vocal knob right here. Um, and the music one is mainly if you use this plugin as a side chain um, to the music mix, okay, which I never do on my end. So this is grayed out because I'm not using it as a side chain. Uh, so I'm going to just focus on vocal and this is going to add the sensibility uh, of the vocal opposed to the noise floor um, of the recording, okay. So by default it's at zero and I usually leave it there. Uh, then we have the target and this is very important. This is going to be our target and it's going to determine how the fader is going to move. It's going to be sensitive to uh, what's coming into the plugin. Okay, so we're going to fix that up later on. Then we have a slow and fast, which is going to which is gonna act as an attack, basically. So if we wanna have a sort of a slow attack, um, we're gonna just click on slow to get a more natural sound. Uh, but if we want that fader to, um, uh, to react instantly to the changes, we're just gonna click on fast. I'm gonna keep that on slow. And um, first, let's jump uh, on the mix and listen to that vocal. Now I have the vocal rider at the beginning of the chain, but now the plugin is bypassed. So I want you to listen to the vocal uh, that we're gonna work on and then we are gonna apply vocal writer. One by one we gotta go Where we go nobody knows We all got a price to pay We're all trying to find a way I don't know if we will find Truth before we cross the line Okay, so now we see, especially near the end of that verse, uh, we see that the um, the vocal is getting louder and louder, so the dynamics uh, are a bit unbalanced, and we're gonna use Vocal Rider to balance that out. So I'm gonna activate the plugin, and I'm gonna play that again and tweak the target level. One by one we gotta go Where we go, nobody knows We all got a price to pay We're all trying to find a way I don't know if we will find Truth before we cross the line And this Okay, so 
let's say I am happy with that. You know, there's a big difference. You, you can tell right away that the uh, the dynamics are way more balanced to uh, opposed to what we had before. Now I want to print what Vocal Writer is doing and record that on my uh, on my channel as an automation. And there's a very simple way to do this in Cubase with Vocal Writer. First, we need to click on Write. Uh, just under automation at the bottom, okay? And at the same time, we are on our main vocal channel. We also gonna click on write, okay? So both the channel and the plugin are gonna be in write mode. This way I'll be able to record whatever vocal writer is doing. One by one, we gotta go. So just to try out, I'm just going to open my uh, automation lane. I'm going to click on volume. And now that I already uh, did some, uh, some automation on my channel, I see it right on top here. Uh, the insert one vocal writer mono. Uh, the writer fader is right here accessible for me to check out. And there you go. This is the automation I just did. Okay, let's do it again, but this time I'm going to go through uh, most of the verse and I'm just going to bring down that target a bit more just to overdo it a bit so you'll have a better idea on uh, what the automation does, the way, you know, the automation is written in Cubase. One by one we gotta go. Okay, so this is what we get as a result. Next, what I need to do is to click on read and on select the right on the channel itself. And there you go, that simple. I'll be able to just um, use Vocal Writer and Vocal Writer will follow the automation. Okay, so it's not gonna go live or do it by itself. It's gonna respect and follow the automation lane right here. Okay, now um, something that you need to pay attention to when working with Vocal Writer and uh, Cubase when you're doing some automation is the amount of um, automation detection points that we have here. So if you wanna have a bit more of a fateful result, um, what you need to do is to click on F6, and this applies to Cubase Pro only. So you open the automation panel by clicking on F6. You click on settings. Uh, there's two things. First of all, if you're asking yourself how I got that wave form in the automation lane, it's right here. Show data on tracks just in case uh, you are wondering, because I'm pretty sure you guys are going to ask me, so I'm going to tell you right away. Okay, show data on tracks will add that waveform directly on that automation lane. Um, and then what we need to focus on is the reduction level. Okay, so if I bring that lower, I'm going to bring it to 5% instead of, it was at 45, I think. Um, and that will increase the automation detection points um, when doing automation. Okay, so let's do the same thing again, and you'll see the difference. So I'm just going to remove that automation and do that again. One by one, we got it. Okay, so we have a better idea. Now, as you can tell, we have way more uh, automation points going on here, which is gonna add precision to what Vocal Writer is actually doing. Okay, so it's gonna add more points though. So if you need to tweak things around, you know, it's not gonna be as user-friendly, but you'll have way more precision on uh, what's going on here. So this is something that you can tweak around if you wanna have a bit more precision. Uh, doing automation in Cubase. So there you go, my friend. This is going to be it for today. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to share and to like. And if you're new here on the channel, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. Until next time, take care and see you.